Hey guys! Oh, hi Danny, welcome back. Long time no see, Danny. Are you done catching up with your schoolwork? Lila said finals, we're really stressing you out. Oh, um, yeah, it was really stressful, but I'm fine now. That's good to hear, now that we're all here again, we should play a game. What should we play? What about a hard game, in honor of Danny being back? I'm down. Yes, please. Of course. All right, join me. They play a random horror game for two hours. That was so tedious. Yeah, especially the part where we had to get the scrolls. It was scary, though. Barely, maybe for the first chapter. Don't even get me started on the maze part. Why do all Roblox horror games have to have some huge random maze part? It's so annoying. Exactly, we could have finished so long ago without the maze. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. I'm gonna hop off. Same here. I've gotta help my mom run errands tomorrow. Good night, guys. I'm honestly super tired too. Good night. Harper, I know you're not asleep. Yes, the fact I am. No, you're not. I'm here to check up on you. Check up on me? For what? Don't play dumb Harper. You've barely said a word all night. What's going on? Nothing's going on, Marco. I'm just a little tired is all. Just tired, that's what they all say. You've been eerily quiet since Danny came back, you know? Does this have something to do with him? And don't lie this time. Fact, and what if it did? Then we need to talk. What's going? I thought you would be excited to have him back in the group chat. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. I talked to him last night. About what? About why my head been gone. Apparently we weren't supposed to now put him and Lila got into a fight. They fought over what? Over some facking guy. Danny likes some random ass guy from his facking school. Apparently Lila told him to introduce himself to something like that, and the guy thought he was ugly. Bird brain sack. Probably needs glasses. Danny likes some random guys, so he left for two days? Yes, for fact's sake. Keep up. Sorry, I'm just trying to understand. There's nothing to understand. I never stood a facking chance. I should have known. Hey guys! Hey Denny! What's up? You guys wanna play? I'm super bored. Sure. I'm down. Me too! Same Whatever. Here. Sure. Alright, join me. They play out last years for an hour. I was so close. No I literally got way. voted off in the first round, and the guy at Redemption was a sweat. Well, that sucks. But I personally enjoyed that very much. Yeah, because you facking one. Don't be a sore loser, Danny. Oh. Shut up, Marco. Oh, and Danny, what happened to that guy that kept following you around? He sent me a friend request. Did you accept? Not yet. Should I? Do it. See what he wants. All right, let me go do it. I accept it. Now we wait. Well, I gotta go. I gotta drop my brother off at my dad's house. Bye, Bye Marco. Marco. Be back soon. See ya. What do you guys want to do now? I'm down for anything. Me too. What about Judy? We never did the second chapter. Yes, sure. All right, join me. They play Judy for an hour. While they're playing, Danny gets a message from the guy he accepted earlier. All right, it lights up for me. See you guys tomorrow. Same for me. Good night, guys. Then I guess I'll hop off too. Good night, Hopper. Good night. They all go offline one by one. As they're all logging off, Hopper notices Danny is still online. Hey. You're Danny, right? The one and only. Who are you? My name's Adrian. I'm in your fourth period class. Wait, Adrian. How'd you know it was me? You were shit-talking Miss Sevena in the lobby, and your display name is literally Danny. In my defense, the homework she handed out is gonna take like two hours to complete. My anger is valid. Yeah, I'm just not planning on doing. Do you think I could get your number? Every other message we send is getting tagged, and it's super annoying. Yeah, sure. My number is... Adrian gives Danny his number, and they text over iMessage. Okay, way better. Yeah, thank god. Anywho, are you gonna do the homework now? Nah, probably not. I have until Friday anyways. Um, Danny, that homework is due tomorrow morning. What? You're joking, right? No, you don't actually pay any attention in that glass, huh? This is supposed to be done by tomorrow. Oh my fucking god. I don't even know where to start. I can't my grade drop any further. I've gotta get this in. Come down, dude. It's really not that hard to do. She just makes it out to be complicated. Here, FaceTime me and we'll get it done. Alright, thank god. I owe you big time for this. 
Danny and Andrian FaceTime and go over the project. It takes until 5 a.m., but they manage to finish it. I'm so tired right now. I'm not even sure I want to go to school. Danny, I did not spend all night doing this project with you, just for you to not to come to school and turn it in. I'm gonna go shower and get some breakfast. You should get ready too. All right, all right. I'm going. Don't forget to convert the slides into PDFs. Okay, bye. Danny manages to drag himself out of bed and to school. He presents his project just fine and comes home exhausted. Oh my god, that is literally just not true. I was just lagging. Maybe I'd believe you if that wasn't your excuse every single time. Hey guys. Hey Danny, what's up? Nothing really. Can we play something simply today? I'm really tired. Yeah, sure. I found this game I want to play actually. Really? What's it about? Join me and find out. They play a random tycoon for an hour. All right, hopping off early. Danny, what on earth has got you so fucking tired? For God's sake, it's like five in the afternoon. Yeah, you're literally never this tired. Well, remember that guy? That friend requested me last night. Turns out he actually goes to my school. We're talking about this project, and he offered to FaceTime me and help me, and it took literally all night. I'm so tired. I could pass out right now, which is why I gotta hop off. I need to go to sleep like as soon as possible. All right. Well, good night, Danny. Night, Danny. Mark. Before you start, let's not jump to conclusions. It's very unlikely. They're the same person. But he... Sh shut up. Think about it. Harper. Danny says he likes Hallway Boy, right? Then this guy from his school recognizes him and Judy. First off, there's probably thousands of other kids at Danny's school that could have been. You can't just automatically assume that Roblox Boy is the same as Hallway Boy. It's unreasonable. Fact. You're right. I don't know why I'm so on edge about this. I feel fucking stupid right now, honestly. It's because you like him, dumbass. Of course you're gonna be on edge. Just try not to overthink things so hard. We don't even know anything about the guy other than he helped Danny with his homework. We don't even know how the guy recognized him enough to send him a friend request. Do you really think some stranger in the hallways would put two and two together like that? No, from what Danny said, they don't even talk. He just sees him in the hallway a lot. Exactly. There's no way it's him, so there's no need to freak out. You're right, God. I feel so fucking. I'm gonna go get something to eat and hop off. Thanks, Marco. No problem. Night, Harper. Harper goes offline and Marco goes back to the group chat. I'm back. Welcome back. Marco, where's Harper? He said something came up and he had to hop off. It's just us three now. Well, it is getting late. How about one last game before bed? I'm down. But only if I get to pick. I am not dedicating another hour of my life to Bloxburg. Your loss? Yeah, whatever. Join me. They play Breaking Point for an hour. Well, that's it for me. See you guys tomorrow. Marco, check direct message. All right. What's up with Harper? What? What are you talking about? Cut this shit with me, Marco. I'm not blind. I don't know what you're talking about. Harper has been so eerily quiet lately. I've started to forget he's even there. We both know Harper is the farthest thing from quiet. Something's going on and you've got to have the answers. Why me? Process of elimination. He's not telling Denny anything and he's not coming to me. He sure is as hell not telling Bailey anything. So you're all that's left. I want answers, Marco. I know you have them. Lila, I don't know what you take me for, but I do not have any such info. Marco. Nope. Marco? Nope. Marco, I swear to God. Look, if you tell me I'll buy you Robux. How much are we talking? I don't know, 80. I'm highly offended. You think I'm so cheap? I don't get paid until next week. How does 200 sound? 400 and you've got a deal. Fine, 400? All right, give me your account info. Okay, the password is. Lila logs into Marco's account and buys the 400 Robux. Then logs back into her own account. All right, you got your Robux. Now talk. Well, you have to pinky promise this stays between us, Lila. I pinky promise. Whatever you tell me will stay between us. It will not leave these direct message. Okay, good. Well, oh my god, this feels so bad. Okay, um. Marco, I did not give you 400 Robux for you to stutter like an idiot. Tell me what's going on. Jeez, okay, well, Harper doesn't want anyone to know this, but he's been really depressed lately because this girl, he like rejected him. Wait, 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 wait. Back it up. 
back it up. What? He liked, well, likes this girl in one of his classes and he finally worked up to asking her out and she rejected him with no hesitation. He's been so bummed out these past couple of days, so he hasn't really said much. It's a struggle to even getting to talk to me some days. Who even is this girl? What's her name? How long has he liked her? Now personally, that's a lot of info to be giving out for 400 Robux. Marco, you cannot be serious. And what if I was? Marco, I don't exactly have pockets as deep as you think I do. Let's connect the dots here. Minimum wage. Part time. Well, then that's just unfortunate this information doesn't come for free. I'm quite literally selling out our best friend. Yes, for good cause. Now, how long is he like this girl and why have we never heard of her? Nope, nope, nope. Absolutely not. My lips are sealed. Come on, Marco. You can't leave me out in the cold like that. I'm not leaving you out in the cold and you know that you wanted to know what was wrong with Harper and I told you the details are not up for sale. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. Harper, 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 Harper. Red alert. Red alert. Oh my fucking god. What? What is it? All right. So basically, Lala noticed you've been pretty out of it lately. So she came to me to ask, what was wrong with you? Continue. Well, I asked for 400 Robux. Then I would tell her. So she gives me the 400 Robux and I tell her that. Whoa, pump the fucking brakes. Let me get this straight. Marco, you sold me out. Sold me out for 400. That's five fucking bucks, Marco. You sold me out for five fucking dollars. Well, technically, yes. Message not delivered. But you didn't let me finish. I didn't actually sell you out. Wait, what? Oh my god. Please say CK, Harper. You're what, Danny? Me and Adrian are out on a date. He called me cute and flirted with me last night. So I flirted back and he asked me out. He's actually so nice, Lila. He's paid for everything since we got here. Did I mention we're at the mall? He's taking me to a movie in 15 minutes. Wait, what? I'm so confused right now. Danny, what about Harper? He won that. Oh, I don't know you're your head over heels for. I can't stay stuck on him forever, Lila. There's obviously way better for me out there and way better. And question is taking me see the Matrix in 13 minutes. Harper cool, I guess. But I just don't like him anymore. I'm way better off with Adrian anyways than you know that. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe all you needed was a little Getty. Hello? Is this Adrian? Yeah, that's me. Who is this? I'm Delilah, Danny's best friend. He gave me your number so we could chat a little. Chat a little? What is this like an interrogation or something? Did I do something wrong? Not yet, thankfully. But if you want to date my best friend, you gotta go through me first. Anyways, how would you say you feel about? Wait, wait, wait. What? Date your best friend, as in, date Danny. Uh, yeah? You already took him out on one date? No? To the mall, if I'm recalling correctly. A date? No, that wasn't. That was just supposed to be us hanging out. You know as friends, a little hangout at the mall. Wait, pardon? So the mall date wasn't a date? No, not at all. I swear I just asked if he wanted to hang out, since we never really hung out outside of school before and the best place I could think of was the mall. I promise I'm not trying to romance your friend Danny, not to mention I'm straight, so it wouldn't really work out either way. Well then I guess my work is done here. Have a good day, Adrian. Um, you too. With the new information, Lila goes straight to Danny, but not before skipping over the notification she got from Harper. She feels guilty but can't afford to interact with him until this Adrian situation is resolved. Danny, I've got news. Good or bad, and please say good, I can't do this right now. Well, that's just unfortunate because it's bad. It only took a good five minutes for me to find out. Adrian is straight. I'm actually about to give up. Why can't I just have one? About that, actually. I never got to talk to you about what I was willing to talk to you about before you left to go on the rest of your date. So now's a good time as any, Danny, when I ask you this question, I need you to be 100% honest with me. Can you promise me that? I promise I will be 100% honest to any question asked of me. Good, now, how do you feel about Harper? Do you still like him or what? Honestly, yeah, I've been trying my hardest to get over him though. I promise, I kind of latched onto Adrian to help, but obviously that's going nowhere. I just don't want to be stuck on someone I know I have no chance with you know. It still kind of hurts being around him just a little though. Well, sit in your seat for this one, because today's your lucky day. What if I told you Harper likes you back? Lila, please don't joke around like that. It's not funny. 
I'm not joking, Danny, Harper likes you back. I spoke with him the other day, and he admitted it to me. He's putting the fate of your relationship in my hands, so I need you to trust me. What? No, this doesn't even make sense. Lila, please, if this is a joke, stop now before I block you again. Oh, for goodness fucking sake, look at this, dumbass. Lila goes back to her direct message with Harper, screenshotting him admitting he likes Danny, then goes back to Danny and sends all the screenshots spitting her nails as she waits for his response. Danny, you there? No, I threw my phone across the room and there are tears in my eyes. Your pinky promises these screenshots are real. You're not messing with me, right? Cross my heart and hope to die. I honestly feel stupid for not somehow catching on sooner. Wait, so what do I do now? Do I text him? Do I just wait till he texts me? Where do I go from here? Have you talked to him? He actually texted me earlier, but obviously I was dealing with more pressing matters, so I haven't looked at it. Then go read it. Oh my god, what if it was something important? Oh my god, okay, I'm going. Lila Lila, are you here? Have you talked to Danny at all? You've been out offline all day. Hey Harper, sorry for replying so late, but I just told Danny about you liking him. Well, don't just fucking leave me hanging. How'd he take it? Well, he's definitely in shock, but in a good way. Don't worry, I've really done all I can do here. So I think the next step is you two talking one-on-one. -on -one. Well thought, like right now, what would I even say? He likes you, not me. Just do what feels natural and you'll be fine. All right, thanks for everything, Lila. No problem. Harper goes to Danny direct message and goes to start a conversation but has no idea what to say. He deletes and retypes all his messages before finally setting on a simple. Hey Danny. Um, hey Harper, how have you been? I've been good, I guess. Good, good. That's, uh, that's great. God, this is so awkward. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say. Me neither, actually. Well, I am curious about one thing. And what would that be? Why didn't you confess? I could ask you the same thing? I didn't confess because I thought I had no chance. I thought you were straight. Well, obviously not. I don't really know what I am truth be told, but I know I'm into you and that's all that really matters to me. Wait, but then during the face reveals when I went, you went silent. Yeah, what about it? Well, you had something to say about everyone but me. Thought you thought I was ugly or something. What? No, I just don't really know how to compliment people. So I was, back, don't laugh. I was fumbling around trying to find something to say. I don't think you're ugly, Danny. Far from it, actually. Or we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But that reminds me what happened to that thacker in the hallway you said you liked. The one who called you ugly. Funny story, actually. But he doesn't exist. When I convinced myself you thought I was ugly, it kind of set me off and I went ghost on everyone. When you came to me asking what was wrong, I obviously couldn't have told you. So I made up a story and switched you out for some guy in the halls. But then what about Adrian? I thought- Well, Adrian is real, but he has no correlation to the guy from the halls. Adrian's a guy I know from my fourth period class. So you don't like him? No, I like you, not him. Well then what now? Well then I guess we did. I mean, of course, only if you want to. I think I'd like that. So does this make us boyfriends? No, it makes us brothers, you fucking idiot. Yes, you are my boyfriend, Danny. Okay, just give me a second to process. This is a lot. Yeah, me too. Both walking away from their phones, Danny and Harper begin pacing back and forth in their rooms. Danny finds the nearest pillow and starts screaming into it, while Harper does a full sprint around the house three times. Alright, I'm back, and come. I think I'm ready to tell the group chat. The group chat already? Danny, we literally started dating two minutes ago and we have to tell them. Oh no, I mean, I was just excited. We don't have to tell anyone. If you're uncomfortable with it, it's fine. I'll get the whole gay thing. No, that's not it. It's just a lot of the process for me, you know? I don't want you to think I'm trying to hide you because I'm ashamed of liking dudes. I don't give a shit about any of that. Again, it's just a lot. I'm okay with telling a group chat, but outside of that, can we take it slow? Yes, of course. We can move at whatever pass you need. Harper, I'm not gonna force you to stream on your boyfriend from the rooftops. I'm not opposed to that idea. Just maybe further down the line in our relationship in five minutes now. Now are you ready to tell the group chat? I want to get this over with. Yes, yes, I'm ready. They're all online, so let's go. Listen up, bastards. Harper, Danny, where the fuck have you two been lately? Busy, now shut up. We have an announcement to make. We have an announcement? Who is this we? Shut your face, 
dick bag, and maybe you'd find out. Guess I'll be the one to actually announce it. But me and Harper are dating. Oh, Finally. my back. God. Double what the fact. What do you two mean? Finally? What the actual fact? Did I miss something? To put it shortly, yeah. But with how fucking idiotic these two are, I think you're better off not knowing honestly. Um, excuse me. Absolutely not. All you explain, right this instant. For the next hour or so, they pitch in telling their side of the story. Lila talks about Danny's tantrums and how he first came to conclusion he liked Harper. Marco talks about how Harper realized he had a crush on Danny and how he hated Adrian. Marco and Lila leg and talk about their matchmaking skill paid off. While Danny and Harper sit there embarrassed, so you mean to tell me that while everyone was running back and forth with all this juicy info, no one thought to tell me a goddamn thing? I'm sorry, Bailey, it was all just- Nope, shut the fuck up. I'm so happy for you and that cretin you call a boyfriend, but shut the fuck up right now, Danny. Where was my invitation to the party? Why couldn't I play Cupid? You're all lucky. I don't have half a mind to block you all and spend the rest of my life with Elaine. Elaine, you still talk to that beach? Well, yes I do, asshole. And I think you'll be delighted to hear. She's not a beach. She's actually very nice. Anyways, stop sidetracking. Why the fuck was I not told anything? I want answers. I mean, I understand Harper. But Denny, Lila, Marco, what the fuck? If I were to tell you anything, Harper would track me down and skin me alive. Sorry, Bailey. And I wasn't gonna go around throwing out Denny's business. My lips were for the most part sealed. I promise you weren't kept out of the loop intentionally. It just kind of happened that way. I'm really sorry, Bailey. No, no. I get it. I'm just so goddamn it. I wanted to play Cupid. That's what you're really mad about playing Cupid? Somebody pinch me. There's no fucking way. This beach is serious. Very serious. I didn't get to have it on any of the fun. This should be a crime. Oh, good lord. Logging off. Congrats you too. Where the fuck is she going? Probably to bed. No offense, because I know you didn't get to play Cupid or whatever, but this shit is tiring. I'm gonna hop off too. Congrats Danny Harper. Don't start slashy kissing. Or better yet, E6. Harper has removed Marco from the conversion. God, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Well, now that the know-it-alls are gone, I want every juicy detail. I know they left out. I know you got him. Bailey? We literally started dating maybe 30 minutes ago. Don't care. Didn't ask. You're gonna spend so much time making up for all the moments I was left out on. Now spill the fucking beans. Who's awake right now? I'm packing right now, but I'm here. Why do you always wait till the last minute to do shit? Your flight is literally in an hour, Marco. I'll work better under pressure. Besides, besides, I live really close to the airport and I'm almost done packing, so don't worry. Whatever you say. I'm already all packed and set, and I've done quadruple checks on everything. I'm so antsy. I'm all ready to go. My family is out right now buying groceries, but they're gonna be back in time to pick everyone up from the airport. So don't worry. Why are they buying groceries so late? It's almost 9 o'clock. Stocking up food for when Bailey and Marco get here, it's gonna be three teams and five parents. We need much more food than we have right now. That reminds me, should I start making food for when Harper gets here? I'd say yes. I'm gonna have food ready for Bailey and Marco when they get here. Speaking of, I just heard the door open and close. I'll be back. Well, better get started. About an hour later. Just landed. My neck hurts, my ass is sore, and everybody in this fucking airport stinks. Which section are you in? I just got here and we're getting ready to go through security. Don't bother, babe. We're gonna come to you. Just meet us in the parking lot. All right, we'll be out front. Mom, did you remember to bring the gift? Yes, of course, sweetie. Candace is buying the flowers from that store over there. And you're positive she's getting the blue flowers. They gotta be blue. Yes, I'm sure she remembers from the 80 million times you specified that before we got on the plane. Harper, sweetie, you could bring a dirty rock as a gift for Danny, and he'd swoon so hard he wouldn't know what to do with himself. I just need this to be as perfect as I can make it. Lord knows when I'll be able to see him in person again, ma. Trust me on this, sweetheart. You've got nothing to worry about. Got the flowers picked out the prettiest bunch I could find. Thanks, Mom. They're really nice. Of course. Now here, me and Alice will take the extra luggage, and you'll go do your thing with Danny. We'll lag behind a little. 
All right. Thanks, Mom. God damn it. Am I in the right place? Danny! Danny, you out here? Hey. Oh, Fack. Danny, you scared the shit out of me. Ha ha. I didn't mean to scare you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. These for you. They're beautiful and blue. My favorite. Thank you so much. I, uh, no problem. It's really cold out. Wanna get in the car? Oh, my moms won't be able to find us if we're in the car. I'll stay out of here. Wait for me, okay? All right, I'll be waiting. 